Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. All right, so let's talk about some routing on the Behringer wing um, outside of using a fader. So let me try to explain what I'm getting at here. So sometimes there's some confusion on the wing. Uh, it's a pretty powerful console on what it can handle input-wise, output-wise, fader, channel, all this, right? So you have access to 48 faders. So mixing-wise, all you can do is 48 faders. So I have a couple other videos explaining, uh, you know, the input limitations on the wing that you can dive into. So you have 48 fa faders, but those can be 48 stereo faders on the wing. So on some of the older consoles, if you have a stereo channel, you have to use two faders and link them together. It eats up two of your 48. On the wing, it doesn't. So it's 48 stereo faders. So here's where the confusion comes in. You can have a lot more than 48 inputs on the wing using the 48 faders. You could have double 48 if they're all, um, you know, stereo. So here's the other cool thing you can do. I'm pretty sure the wing will support 144 inputs. Okay, so you can use multiple stage boxes. You can use USB. You can use Dante if you have a Dante expansion card, uh, which I do. Uh, the other cool thing is you can have your 48 uh, channels linked into faders, <coughs> excuse me, that you're mixing. And then you can have some other scenarios where you're going to do some inputs and outputs and routing on the wing in addition to those 48 faders. So that's what I'm going to explain in this video. So here's scenario one. I have 48 uh, band channels coming in. Okay. Um, I'm mixing those, you know, front of house and pushing those to my mains. In addition, I have my comm channel, right, for my video uh, team. They all wear comm headsets. I have that actually being fed into an input on the Behringer, well, not on the Behringer wing necessarily, but in the ecosystem, okay? So I'm feeding my comm in, so it's showing up as an input. So I can do that in addition to those 48 fader inputs um, on a stage box, okay? I've got the XLR going into a stage box for my comm. It now shows up if I go to routing, sources, AESA. Okay, so let's say I have that channel 48 on my stage box. I can route that if I go to outputs and if I go to USB audio, I can go to one of my open channels on USB audio. Let's just say that's 46. I use USB audio on the wing to go out to a Mac mini and I multi-track record um, in Adobe Audition. So I've got some other videos that explain exactly how I do that. So USB audio, I'm going to patch 46 and I'm going to say AES uh, A and it's going to be 48. Okay, so we have to unlock it and patch 48. So here's what's happening here. I have a stage box far away close to my comm, plugging in my comm channel 48 there. I don't need it at front of house. I don't need to mix it. I don't even need to hear it. I'm definitely not pushing it to the mains, but I do want to record it. Okay, I want to record it for later. Uh, so I'm using this as an input source, feeding it through to the USB, which is then going to my computer and being recorded in Adobe Audition. So it's never touching a fader channel and it is not using up one of those 48 channels for mixing. So some, you know, on some of the older boards you had to, to do, I actually did this on a Yamaha M7CL. I had to actually have a fader dedicated to comm that I never turned on uh, just so I could record it. So obviously there's other ways to do this, but um, you know, this is just one scenario. So here's another thing that you can do. So using Dante and USB, I'm doing a bunch of processing, okay? I've got a Mac mini to the side that uh, I run Ableton on, and I'm running Waves VST plugins on, and I'm doing a bunch of processing for the wing using Waves plugins. All right, so in addition to that, um, here's some uh, cool routing stuff that I'm doing. So I'm taking, um, I've got my mains going to my 
front of house PA. So I've got a main one for that, main two is for my subs, and main four is for my live stream. So my live stream is essentially um, a post fader mix of my front of house mix. And then I just make some small adjustments, but everything is post fader, it's all affected by front of house, okay? So I've got my live stream main. I kick that out, so main four, so I can go outputs. I kick that out over uh, USB audio. And let's say I'm gonna put that in channel 45. So I'm gonna go to my, my mains here and I'm gonna patch my live stream main, okay? To USB audio. Say, so it's kicking out that live stream to USB, USB into Ableton. Ableton is then processing um, my live stream audio outside of the Behringer wing. I can have Ableton then send it back over USB to the wing. Okay, so now it's coming in an input source of USB. I can then, in the routing section, I can kick that directly from USB to Dante. And then I have a Dante adapter in the other room uh, that sees anything on the Dante network. And on that Dante adapter then is pulling that feed out and into my video switcher. So at the end of the day, my video switcher feeding my live stream is getting processed Dante audio that never touched a fader on my wing. So I'm doing several steps of additional processing, you know, out and through the wing, through uh, waves in Ableton, back in USB to Dante. And it's never touching a fader on the wing. So I still have those 48 faders and I was able to do all this processing without touching an additional fader and using that up. So these are some really cool scenarios. Hopefully I was able to articulate uh, what this looks like and how to do some additional channel routing, input output source routing on the wing without touching one of your available 48 physical faders on the wing when you don't actually have to mix certain things. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.